Hey, what's up everybody? So welcome back to this part number three series. So in the last video, we have learned about how we can extract the date and uh, show it inside the text field. So we are going to do the very similar thing here inside uh, by using the time screen. So with the help of time, we are going to add the time inside our text field. So let's jump in and get started here. So I am going inside my lib folder and create a file with the name of time underscore screen dot dot just to make things very much clear that we are working with the time. And uh, let's create here a stateless widget and uh, we have to import our library material dot dot file and uh, rather I need to have here a scaffold and let's generate our app bar very basic app bar just like we did before so here inside the app bar I have a use here a title let's use here a tax widget and let's define a time field and make that into the center so I'm going to use center title to be true so right after that I'm going to create here a body and let's define it inside the container. So right inside the container I'm going to define some spaces from top right left bottom. So I'm using here padding. So let's use here and at insets.all and give that to be 16.0 from space from all sides, right? And next, uh, right after the padding, just like that before, we have used date time field package. So if you haven't used, so make sure you watch my previous video or you should add your pubspack.yaml file and just import here date underscore time underscore field, very basic. So all you need is, uh, if I just gonna open up my Chrome browser and you need here date time uh, field uh, picker whatever the name is of this uh, yeah date time underscore picker underscore form field and you need to add this inside your uh, package by simply installing that so if you need to install that all you need to do is to go inside your Chrome browser and click on this installing and there we are so you just need to add this command and just type it inside your terminal Right after the padding, I need to define here uh, the the date time field. So let's define a child and define a date time field. And this is going to bring us the format. So we have to set up the format for our time in this case. So final format equal to a date format, which is basically coming from the INTL package that we already defined inside our pop spec file. So I need to have a very basic uh, format. Uh, so all I need is a small h and uh, uh, and then mm for minutes, right? So make sure there is a difference of the capital H and the smaller h, and you see very very soon right after the difference between these two. So right inside the on show picker, I, because we are working with the time this on this case, so we have to define here. Uh, show time picker. So how we are going to do first we have to define here context and the current value. So we have defined here current value and make sure that uh, we, we have to define this function as an async function. So right inside here I have to define here final time equal to and uh, right after that just like we have defined show date picker so in this case we have to define show time picker so the context remain the same the only difference is the initial time right so inside the initial time we have to define something which is known as time of day so which will help us to get the time uh, the selected hours and the selected minutes so i'm going to use here time of day dot and then there is a from date time so from date time we have to bring up here the time of the current value so let's grab here if that current value is there for us so just get get the date time from the selected given time if I, if you see on my toolbar on the right so the time is 7 19 p.m here so i need to select that time in this case so date time dot now method all right so we are good to go so right after that, we are all good to do. So we have to return the time. So if I just try to return the time directly in this case, you see an error here it says the return time feature time of day is, isn't a feature. It's a date time as required. So we have to convert that to time with the help of date time. So all I need here is just simply type here date time field dot and we have to convert that time and there we are. Um, it, it's because we have to use here a wait. Yeah. All right. So we are good to go because we are working with the future. Um, next, we we have to do is just to test this out. Now, if I just try to hot reload it and make sure that you have used this screen, I actually forget that to give the name. So you can change that to time screen and similar just like that. 
you can change that const name to time screen right now go back to your main dot dark file and change that time screen here and now if it's try to hard reload it and i hope this is going to work this time um let me open up my emulator and you see here the time field is there so i need to give a very similar like floating uh ta hint text here so right after the format i need to define my input decoration so let's define here decoration input decoration and uh, you can define a couple of fields here but in my case i'm only happy happy with the label uh tax which in my case choose time and that's it let's reload it and check this out now if i go back to my emulator and choose the time from here so it's you see here it's showing 7 22 pm by default from the current time which exists inside my um, directory so if i just try to press ok and you see here 0722 now because we are actually getting 12 hour format now if i just try to change the time let's suppose if i choose one and 22 minutes and choose that and you see here on the left it's zero and 22 uh, the minutes, the hours and the minutes. So if, what if I just try to have here a single age? So you see on the left, it's uh, the default zero is gonna remove from here. So if I just try to again choose that date and now you see 122. What if I just try to choose 12 and keep that same and now you see it's still having zeros is removed from the left but the time that we choose according to the 12 hour format now what if we want to choose here 24 hour format so all i need is capital h and uh, if i just try to now pick up the date from the time field choose time and let me add here um something like this so you see now it's 24 hour format and now we are able to check the uh, time with the 24 hour so another useful thing that you guys could do here is you can also get some minutes you can either get seconds and as well as you could do one more thing here is to add if you want to check am and pm so all you need to do is simply add after minutes i want to see my am pm right after minutes so now if i just try to close this one and try to pick up a new date and you see here right after the minutes we are able to check the am and pm as well right so you see how easier and how how great this tutorial is for you to understand how we can choose a time and uh, in the next upcoming video we are able to get both date and time together and show it inside the in, inside the text field so i hope you guys love and like this video so i want to see you guys in the next tutorial with a more interesting uh, tutorial with combination of both date and time right so that's it and i will see you for the next time